Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Boxiest, and today we are going to continue the What If series. What if events had gone differently? And in this What If, we're going to change the history of Cobra Kai. What if Mike Barnes beat Daniel during the events of the Karate Kid 3? 30 years later, part 3. So if you guys haven't seen the previous parts, I would recommend you go watch them before continuing this one. So in this timeline, Daniel would be in Okinawa, and Chosen would tell him that he knows about Cobra Kai, and that ever since Mike Barnes beat him in the 1985 All Valley, Cobra Kai has expanded worldwide, and that Terry Silver tried opening a Cobra Kai dojo in Okinawa, Daniel wouldn't be surprised. Chosen would say that in the 90s, Terry Silver tried buying Sato's dojo, but that Sato refused, so him and Sato continued the Miyagi legacy. He would say that he was also tired of Cobra Kai, and that he also wanted to take them down. So Chosen and Daniel would train, and Chosen would teach Daniel some more Miyagi-Do secrets. And before Daniel and Chosen went back to the US, Kumiko would still read Daniel Mr. Miyagi's letters. Some of them would be very similar, but one would say that Mr. Miyagi was worried about Daniel, that Daniel had become obsessed with taking down Cobra Kai, and that he was missing the beauty in life and that he didn't want Daniel to make the same mistakes he did by spending his life alone, and that he needed to let go of this rivalry. But Daniel would say that Cobra Kai needed to go, and that this was his final chance to take down Cobra Kai. So Chosen and Daniel would go to the US. Daniel would say that they needed to expose Cobra Kai so that people saw what they were really like, and the events of Cobra Kai would continue. Tori would still move to the valley, and she would have prior Cobra Kai training, so she would rejoin Cobra Kai. Carice and Mike Barnes would continue training their students, and Johnny would continue training Miguel on his own, and Daniel and Chosen would realize that if they could expose Terry Silver, they could take down the rest of Cobra Kai. So Daniel and Chosen would want to take down Terry Silver, so Daniel and Chosen would break into Terry Silver's house, and they would try to find some evidence to try to expose Terry Silver, but Terry Silver would catch them, he would be surprised to see Daniel after all these years. Daniel would say that Cobra Kai wasn't going to win, and that Cobra Kai was going down. Terry Silver would laugh, and he would tell Daniel that he hasn't had anything to do with Cobra Kai since the early 2000s. He would say that he was retired from karate, and that he'd left his share of Cobra Kai to crease. Terry Silver would say that he's changed, and Terry Silver would apologize to Daniel for everything that he did in the 80s. He would say that he was just doing a favor to an old friend. But Daniel wouldn't believe Terry Silver, but Chosen would tell Daniel that maybe Terry Silver was telling the truth. So Chosen would tell Terry Silver to prove that he's changed. He would ask Terry Silver to help them take down Cobra Kai. But Terry Silver would say that he couldn't do that, but that he could help them in another way. So Terry Silver would go with Chosen and Daniel to the flagship dojo. Chris and Mike Barnes would be surprised to see Terry Silver with Daniel and Chosen. Chris would ask Terry Silver what he was doing there. And Terry Silver would tell Kreese that they should leave Miyagi-Do alone, and that they should honor the deal that they made during the All Valley. Kreese would say that Cobra Kai never backed down. Terry Silver would say that Daniel has had enough. He would tell Kreese that Daniel wasted his life trying to take them down. Terry Silver would ask if that wasn't torture enough. He would tell Kreese to let go of the rivalry he had with Daniel, that they showed that they won. So Kreese would agree to leave Daniel and the rest of Miyagi-Do alone, with the sole condition that Miyagi-Do shut down for good. Daniel would hesitate, but Chosen would say that they agreed, so Cobra Kai would agree to leave Daniel alone. So Chosen and Daniel would leave, Daniel would be mad and disappointed, but Chosen would tell Daniel that without Miyagi-Do, Daniel had nothing left in the US. So Chosen would suggest that Daniel move to Okinawa to start a new life there, away from Cobra Kai, and that in Okinawa, he could have the freedom to continue Mr. Miyagi's legacy, and without any other choice, Daniel would agree. So Daniel would move to Okinawa, and Daniel and Chosen would run their own Miyagi-Do dojo in Okinawa, and since Daniel never married in this timeline, he would start dating Kumiko, and he would finally start moving on, and in the US and the rest of the world, Cobra Kai would continue to grow, and Mike Barnes would continue teaching his students the way of the fist. And that is where I'm going to end this what if. Thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think would have happened if Mike Barnes beat Daniel during the events of Karate Kid 3 30 years later? Let me know in the comments below. All members have access to emojis that can be used in comments and live streams. This isn't mandatory. This is only something extra.
if you want to support the channel even more youtube lets me know that the majority of you are not subscribed so if you guys could subscribe that would be much appreciated thank you guys for watching make sure to like this video subscribe and turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys next time